After four long months, the OWLCS offseason is finally coming to an end. In that period, almost every team decided to make a change and try something new for 24. But how good were those changes and who actually upgraded their roster? In this video, we will rate the most notable NA team, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, let's get started. NA OWLCS rating of every new roster and the first one we're gonna rate is G. And there we had only one change and it was Nolly off the roster and they added first killer and I gave this a rating of a minus why only a minus if they add one of the best players in na well the only reason to me was that first killer also attracts some drama wherever he goes there seems to be some drama there are always rumors about him trying to kick someone off the team and instead getting involved so that is the reason why this is not an a to me however on the pitch this should be an upgrade because first killer can play every position he can stay back and let chronic do his thing but he's also capable of doing solo plays on his own and taking over the game so it's still an upgrade the next one and i can already spoil that much it's the best rating i gave because it's an a plus and it goes to g2 stride they parted ways with chicago and j naps so they got two high caliber veterans off the roster and the only way you can make up for that is if you get daniel and beast mode and they did exactly that alongside atomic they will play on g2 stride and this roster on paper looks insane and i believe they will always be in the top ranks of na this season it's tough to say if they can compete with the biggest from EU like Vitality but for NA and for G2 themselves this is a big upgrade and I'm looking very much forward to see this roster play therefore I gave an A plus and I think nobody in this offseason won harder than G2 so I'm looking very much forward to see this roster play and then the next ones are SSG there was a lot of back and forth with them they wanted to part ways with Arsenal then they said they're gonna stick at the end they decided to let him go and then they added another veteran in Chicago and that is why this is only a C to me because I don't see too much of an upgrade in Chicago over Arsenal. Both of them veterans, both of them have their qualities, definitely. Both of them, however, in my opinion, do not make this SSG team that much better. And that is why I only gave it a C. But maybe they're going to prove me wrong and this is going to work phenomenally. This is yet to see. Until then, I'm going to stick with this rating. Then the next one's Shopify. And they put Memory off the roster, put him at the coaching position, and then added Justin. And I gave this a rating B. This rating could be higher, but I really don't know how much more Justin has in the tank. They added a huge name in Justin, and this is already good for marketing, but it's going to be way more important what happens on the pitch. And if Justin can't keep playing at the highest level, this is not going to be too much of an upgrade in my opinion. However, this is one of the most interesting projects in NA because Two Piece and Path have a lot of potential. And now with a veteran like Justin on the roster, they could pop off next season. I really hope they do. And then if Justin himself also works, this rating could go up in the future the next one on the list are an entirely new roster it's og esports who entered with jnaps com and Nolly. i gave this a b minus all three of them are veterans and therefore they have a lot of fans og is gonna enter as one of the fan favorites probably even but the players themselves are not known to be the best individually so either they're gonna get their results because of great chemistry and team play or i don't see them going too far that's why i only gave them a b minus but it's still awesome that a big organization like OG enters because this roster formed and therefore this is a W anyway and by the way I could also imagine that because everyone thinks they are not the flashiest and all the kind of stuff that they're gonna prove me and a couple of others wrong and do way better than expected there's also a possibility in my head but for now I gave them only a B minus and then the next ones are energy they had the end of an era when they parted ways with Squishy and Justin and this roster is one of the biggest question marks in the next season because they added not only miss who was argued to lose motivation and then they added a very young player that almost no one knew in frosty so this is going to be extremely exciting to see what this roster will do i for now gave it a b because i didn't like the acquisition of mist but i really like the risk they took on frosty so if frosty pops off with the two veterans alongside him i could see this rating go up in the future but for now it's only gonna be a b the next roster on the list is complexity they part ways with ajg and then added Dorito and in my opinion this is not an upgrade I didn't like this roster move at all AJG obviously had that one very decisive miss at words but I don't feel like his season was that bad that Dorito would be an upgrade to him since Dorito himself was on the roster that had a lot of issues last season in G1 I really don't know if this move is going to be an upgrade it's obvious that CRR wanted him because they teamed before they are good friends but I think AJG also did a solid job and that is why I only gave this a C 
and then the next roster is m80 and this is also one of the most interesting projects for the next season they added two eu players in joris and nas and then got aj on there so this will be an insanely mechanical roster all three of them know how to perfectly maneuver their car in the air on the ground and i feel like the sky is the limit for this roster the only reason why this is only an a minus is that this could also flop very hard on paper obviously it sounds insane but all three of their teams didn't do too much towards the end of the season i mean nas with sk gaming didn't even qualify for the last regionals i believe and therefore you don't really know in what form they're gonna enter the next season but as i said on paper this roster looks insane now the next one are the muffin man and it's squishy's new team he formed with aqua and gimmick gimmick and squishy back together like in the c9 days and then they added aqua and i gave this the worst out of all ratings it's a d squishy off energy was already a bit of a heartbreak the end of an era and then he decided to team up with gimmick again gimmick had a decent season Season, but squishy was on the decline and aqua had a horrible season so i don't see this team doing very well it would be awesome if face picks them up because then they would stay in rocket league get more traction to the esports but it's the only positive i see right here i don't think this roster will do too much it kind of reminds me of solary with k-dop ferry and chaucet together all three of them way past their peak trying to get a new organization and they did but the results obviously didn't came and that's why i also gave this roster a d right here i don't see them doing too well and then the next one's luminosity and they acquired rattles and magic bear and then added cheese and i think this was a w the only reason why this is only a b is because they lost their star player and AJ, but adding cheese was a great choice. And if he continues to develop like he did in the last season, I believe this rating could change and this roster could do extremely well. I see a lot of potential in him. And with the leader like Rattles, this is the perfect environment to develop. And that's why it's a B for now with the tendency to go up the longer this season goes. Then the next one, and this was one of the biggest surprises, TSM coming back to Rocket League and they will sign Wavy, Creams and Hockey. And they individually probably had the biggest win over the course of this offseason they played almost all the offseason tournaments together and their stock went up in the ceiling absolutely incredible development they beat the very best rosters and that's why tsm noticed them and took the chance on them and i gave them an a minus because they are yet to prove themselves in the rlcs but playing the off season so well that you get signed by a tier one organization is incredible and that's why this had to be some kind of an a but as i said i gave it an a minus because they are yet to prove themselves and that guys were all the rosters i wanted to talk about today sub please if you enjoyed this video and comment your ratings below and also let me know if you want to see this video for eu as well and by the way guys for all of you who remembered that i wanted to do this live i am very sorry my entire city was flooded i didn't have any internet in the last couple of days that's why i wanted to get this video out as soon as the internet is back up but if you want to see the eu version i will try to make up for it and do that one live let me know in the comments if you want to see that and that's a wrap for today i see you guys next time <laughs>